What is problem in Finland, in Japan, in many other countries is that school engagement worldwide is declining. What is keeping Japan and Finland and countries like that up is sense of duty. But we cannot play that card forever. Uh, our girls in Finland are best in sciences, in the best girls in sciences in the world, but they hate it. Nobody of them wants to be an engineer. They are just getting good grades in technology. What's the use of that? How many of your children love school? Do you find, do they love it? Usually they love it, um, in Finland they love it when they are seven and go to school, but already during the spring term it, they start to get bored. And we found 46% of elementary school students feeling some kind of cynicism towards school, and especially those who had high, who were uh, digitally engaged, and they all felt that they would be more engaged at school if school technologies were, if social digital technologies were used at school. Everybody in the 80s needed to know how to program computers in order to use them. Today they are very user friendly. One year olds do doing like this, happy. They don't know what is inside the machine. Very few of them can code, like maybe 10 to 15%. But what are they doing? They are multitasking. While they are listening to me, they may be tweeting and Googling more information and doing things. Uh, it's good if it has something to do with this with topic. They read from screen. I need these papers. <laughs> I'm a, uh, obviously an immigrant. <laughs> um, they are very much chatting. Like they wouldn't go, they wouldn't send an email. For them, email is like old fashioned. It's like sending a postcard. 25% are gaming, active gamers. They are very social digitally networked. They are only offline at school. <laughs> school day for them is like, oh, please fasten your seat belt and put away all the technical devices. What I was telling to this EU Parliament thing was that it's not so much about learning technology or computer supported learning. It's kind of last season thing. It's more like this integrated system with these novel technological tools and social media or internet that enable people being constantly in, in interaction. And then we called about social digital participation. That is uh, this informal ways of being in. But anyways, this revolution has taken place during the last 10 years. And we act like as if nothing happened. But uh, in Finland we have noticed that Actually, in order to make this, what we are, we are told that we must make now this digital leap, uh, I think we need a pedagogical leap first. I think what we need in epistemic change, we need changing in the ways of how we think about knowledge and learning. Uh, do you know what is the most difficult sentence for a teacher in Finland to say, or a professor? The most difficult sentence. I don't know. It has to be informative, it has to be specific, and it has to be epistemic. It has to be like, what new you do you know? What is interesting? What would you like to learn more? What, how the reader understands your text? Making you uh, evaluate what you already know and, and foster it. And what is lovely about this is that all the walls and tables, because we didn't have money, they didn't have money for small rooms for everybody, so only first-year students are in this small room, and the others are in the corridors. And all the walls of corridors have been painted with this kind of painting, and all the tables. So they are just, uh, they have formulas everywhere. And it used to be called cheating, but now it's called collaboration. So, um, my conclusion is, um, I've noticed these are not Finnish problems, these are global problems. I've been talking to people in Africa, Japan, Taiwan, London, uh, Spain, Catalonia, wherever, there is this widening gap between schools and outside world. world. And the difficult, most difficult problems are in those countries who've been doing well in PISA results, because they've had this illusion that they don't have to change anything. The main problem is to reform our teacher education and continuing professional change for teachers to make this change. And I. Uh, those who don't have trouble in keeping up with the technology, pedagogy, ways of thinking, automatization, internet of things, 
augmented reality, uh, you know, all this, those who don't have any trouble with them can raise their hands. I couldn't. <laughs> 